My name is Mon and I am here today to show you how to put apart or take a, an iMac Apple apart from scratch and also install a one terabyte Seagate drive that I just purchased. Woohoo! <laughs> Anyways, um, some of you may be wondering, well, how, how do you take an iMac apart when there's no freaking screw? Let me show you. As you can see here, this iMac, beautiful thing, which I need to clean a little. Um, there's no screw. There's no type of screw in the back. And just nothing there, you know? So, you know, how the hell you take it apart without bringing it to the manufacturer and pay a bunch of money to have your hard drive replaced? Well, the answer is easy. <laughs> Things you'll need. As you can see, it's as easy as one, two, three. You take this suction cup here, you place it on the monitor, make sure it gets some suction in there, and you gently. <laughs> well, that didn't work. So we put it on the edge, that'll probably work better. Suck it up. As you can see, the screen comes off. It's totally awesome. You know, be careful with it because you definitely don't want to, to break it for sure. Alright, cool. So you see, you have this out, place it somewhere safe. And the next step, you want to remove all these screws here, or the, the star screw, and you'll be using this tool here to remove them out. So. Alright. Well, alright, as you can see, I placed my computer once I have my bed because I don't have anywhere else to put it and you know you want to put it somewhere safe so you don't damage your computer so I'll start unscrewing all of these screws and remove them so this is the fun part I hope all right so as you can see it, it goes, and you just turn it, and you want to do it on all of the screws so you get the point. So I will cut here since it's a little hard for me to hold the camera and also, you know, unscrew all of them. So, alright, just unscrew them all and I will show you the next step stay tuned please all right so after you have all your screws unscrewed we're gonna remove that cover so and when removing it you want to make sure not to remove it all the way because there's a wire that connects from this um 
mini camera um, to the power. So be aware of that. All right, finally got that on freaking hooked. So what you want to do is you take this out, put it somewhere safe. All right, so we have this. So now that we have this open, we will um, take the monitor out, LCD. So, all right, so this is the, how the machine looks. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take out these screws here that holds the, the monitor and on the other side, so. And now this is the iMac and gently lift it up here. And as you can see, that is where the hard drive is located. And you want to be sure to carefully disconnect this here. And there you have it. Just unscrew those and install your hard drive. So, as you can see, this is what needs to be disconnected. This cable here, and the cable down there need to be disconnected. Craft to remove that. As you can see, it's removed. And as you follow this line, you want to take that out. So you could release and get the monitor out of your way. So. Here's the settings. And it's always good to take pictures or video record like I do so you can remember, go over and make sure you don't forget where to place things because that's where you are in trouble. And after you remove everything behind the monitor, you want to remove this cable here. It connects to the, uh, it connects to the monitor. So take that out and check out the monitor. As you can see, here I have it out. And lift the monitor freely without any problems. And just lay it somewhere safe. This should be safe for me. That's out. And now, time for the drive which is here. This is the um, heat sensor for the drive. You want to remove it and then of course place it on your new drive. 